Welcome to another episode of Daily Gym. When you first start managing people or leading a team, you often receive the feedback or advice of prioritizing listening over speaking. So when I first started out managing a team, I also took that to heart and tried to listen to the people I was working with as much as possible, not only to hear what is going well or what is not going well with the work or information about the industry, but also to get a better understanding of the person that we're dealing with, the employees or, the, or my team. Not just what their hobbies and interests are, how they're feeling, but also what their vision for the future is. And then I could think about how I can align the company's vision with the person's vision to help them improve at a much faster pace. Sure enough, I did, it wasn't only listening to what they were saying, but also the tone of voice, the facial expression, the body language, to really get an understanding if what they were saying was in line with their feelings, or at least my impression of what their feelings are. I touched on it a bit in yesterday's video, but simply talking with the person didn't really give me the results I was hoping for. And sure enough, I found myself giving the same kind of feedback to certain people time and time again. So from there, I started thinking, how can I really know if this person understands what I'm asking, but also if it really is the best kind of feedback for that person or the best kind of thing I can say to that person. And I started paying much more attention to the action and what I started realizing over time is that actions pretty much don't lie in terms of what the person is really feeling and thinking about that particular task or what is a priority for them in life. From reading books or other forms of media, but also just from personal observation, I started realizing that actions are pretty much driven by feelings. Sure enough, you might be talking with an, with an employee or with a team member or even with a superior and you're asking them to do something and that person says yes or no, or but in this case, yes, I will do it. So you think that that person will do it. But after a week passes, a week goes by, two weeks go by, three weeks go by and it still hasn't been done. So you start thinking that it's an issue of trust or that the person cannot be trusted, the person is not responsible about their work. And sure enough, you might think that way. But more often than not, it's just that work is not a priority for that person. So as I mentioned, the action doesn't lie. And what I mean by that is that the actions are fueled by the emotions. So think about it this case. You've probably heard it before, but if someone points a gun at you or points a gun at your children or family members that you care deeply about, whatever they ask you to do, almost certainly you will do it because all of a sudden the feeling of wanting to do it became the strongest that it can possibly be. There's nothing else you can do in a situation than that particular thing because you're dealing with a life or death situation. Of course, when we're when we're working, we pretty much don't deal with a life or death situation, except for startups that might that have that are burning so much cash. But coming to the individual level, you need to understand what is it that really drives them. And actions are a very good guideline in terms of what is a priority for that person. Sure enough, their words, in their words, that person might say, I really want to learn about business or I want to really want to learn about a certain language. But you can see time and time again that it doesn't happen. So in this case, as I mentioned in yesterday's video about feedback, it's about creating a situation that allows the person, that you almost force the person to do it, something that's for their own good. But what is the thing that's for their own good? Is it the thing that they say they want or that you want them to do? Or is it something that they're already putting time and effort in in terms of their actions so that you know it's really aligned with them and simply tweaking those kinds of things to improve their habits and improve their performance. So if there's anything you take away from this video is that actions speak louder than words. So whether you're managing people or you're trying to foster a relationship, just keep that in mind. I'll be back with another video tomorrow. For today, have a nice day.